Good morning, friends. This is practice for the sermon I'll give at our socially distanced and masked worship in the gym at Holy Cross this Sunday, the 17th. It was a Tuesday morning, so Holy Cross was a busy place, even in COVID-19 times. There are four or five folks walking around the building, watering plants, getting the weekly mail out prepared. It was raining, so nothing much was happening outside, but, but Lauren stopped by the office to ask if I would speak to a man who he had run into outside the church. I almost asked a few questions, but then decided not to. I asked the gentleman into my office. He was wearing a mask, and so was I, and we didn't shake hands or anything, and we kept distance. My dog, Sassy, barked at him twice and then curled up at his feet as I asked him to sit in one of the chairs in my office. I asked him his name, Sam, and told him mine. He was hesitant and talked just a bit about seeing so much that is bad. I listened. Sam talked a few minutes more about all that he has seen. He paused a lot. Finally, I said, Sam, are you all right? He looked up at me then, in the eyes. Yes, I, well, I think I'm a babysitter for God. I remember smiling at that. And I said something like, well, I got to hear more about that. As his story unfolded, he talked about walking the streets in our area of town every night, beginning around 10. Sam said he just walked. And when he met people on the streets, he'd look them in the eye and ask them, are you all right? Do you need anything? Some people, he said, would try to get him to help them get drugs or liquor, and he said, but he'd just shake his head at that. But if someone was hungry, he'd take them to get food. Sam said one man runs a store and he bought a few things from him to help him out. I asked a bit more about the bad things Sam said he saw. People are so afraid. There's a lot of bad things happening. And I realized I, I didn't need to know more. There are a lot of bad things happening. I asked Sam if he needed a Bible, and he said a lady he met gave him one just the other night. I told Sam I, I thought he was doing God's work, and I thanked him. And I asked him if he would come see me again in a week or so. We prayed, and he moved on. I thought about Samuel in the Bible. He was called over and over again by a loving God and finally learns to say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I thought about Philip in the gospel. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. The Bible has no shortage of stories of call. God has always called who he needs to be God's hands and feet on the planet, caring for people, offering kindness. Until I sat with Sam that day this week and heard him talk about what he sees, I wasn't really in touch with how the events of the world have touched me and I think have touched you. We've seen bad things. When I close my eyes, sometimes I see that scaffolding that the mob erected outside the Capitol, a noose ready for a lynching a visual meant to send terror into the hearts 
of our government officials, just as it was used to terrorize uh, so many of our black brothers and sisters since shameful slavery days. Like Sam, you and I have seen things. Things are bad. I think we must admit to ourselves that we have been terrorized these past days. I should not be surprised to think that God has called a man like Sam to be babysitter of the people out at night to ask, are you all right? Do you need anything? And then to minister where he can. It's not so unusual to be called by God after all. I have no doubt that you are called just as Sam is and as I am. We are called to be a witness in these times. And I'm thinking of a quote by another Sam I know. It's like the great stories, the ones that really mattered, full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad has happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. I know now folks in those stories had lots of chances of turning back. Only they didn't. They kept going because they were holding on to something. That there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. Thank you, friends for living out your calling from God. Amen.